two, three. <laughs> for centuries, people have extracted things from the swamp, and finally with this project, we're giving something back. So it, it, and it'll allow us to, to bring the true nature of the swamp back. Water control structures, which we refer to as weirs, they are actually put in place to hold back water in the swamp and not allow it to drain out into the Dismal Swamp Canal. This, in turn, raises the water table in the soil. So it may, you may not see standing water in the swamp, but the, water, the soil is mo become moist and therefore it won't burn. These uh, logging roads that were established in the park um, have accompanying ditches that they use the material to build the roads, and therefore this altered the hydrology or the water level of the swamp itself. When people learn about the Great Dismal Swamp all over the country, they think of and they imagine this wonderful wetlands forest. However, the land here in areas is so dry that in certain sections of the swamp, it is not even considered a wetland. If, if we can bring back those, those old Atlantic white cedar forests, where we, we, which when you walked in there was that, that mystery, almost like you, you expected a pterodactyl to step out because it, it felt old, it felt ancient and, and wise. If we could provide that for people, it would be a wonderful experience, I think, for people visiting Great Desert Swamp.